Good day. Um, we're going to be looking today at producing an object using what is referred to as our direct as the direct distance technique or the di direct distance entry technique. Um, it's considered to be one of the more the, the most used method in AutoCAD. Um, but one of the things though we would have to either know the angles the lines are drawn and it would work if these are angles by increments of 15 degrees all right so to produce this drawing as demonstrated on screen let me demonstrate it's one of the easiest method you would notice however that all the lines comprising these drawings are either horizontal or vertical and so it would be best if we turn our ortho mode on so we could either press our f8 function on our keyboard or we could just hit our ortho mode and turn that on now the direct entry method or the direct distance entry method is where we select our start point so let's go and have polyline we're going, to, we're going to be starting our drawing at the, at the point on our screen 20 comma 10 as specified now all that's required from here is just that we point our line in the direction we would want to be drawing and type the distance all right so it's that's why it's the direct which means direction you enter the, the, the distance and that's the method all right so we are we are heading to the right we give 40 and enter that line is drawn now we want to be heading upwards 30 units we simply type 30 give enter the line is drawn point to your right that's where we want to be heading 10 units enter shift cursor upwards type 20 enter if we head to the left and type 20 enter the line would have been drawn now we need to head downwards 10 units enter to the left 30 press enter to the and downwards 40 units and enter enter again to escape the command again our drawing is produced using yet another method which is our direct distance entry technique and like i said earlier one might wonder why don't we just produce all drawings this way because for some drawings the angles the lines would be drawn at might not be so easily obtained but for lines that are truly horizontal 30 deg um, 30 degrees 60 degrees 45 degrees 90 degrees and so on these drawings can be produced using the direct entry method because in the line command if we indicate our start point with the ortho mode off and with our polar tracking on notice AutoCAD will give me a line which is perfectly flat or heading in the zero direction all I have to do is to type the distance while heading in that direction if I want to be heading a particular distance at a 30 degree angle notice a 30 degree angle is indicated there if I shift up, that's 45 degrees. All I have to do is to type my distance while headed in that general direction. 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 120 degrees, 135 degrees, 150 degrees even. And next we have 180 degrees and we would be able to get all those angles going back to 360 
are zero degrees. All right. So that's a cool method. And it's one of the methods that you're going to be find that you use extensively. Another one we use extensively. And you're going to be noticing as your lessons progress will be your relative polar. So the four that you should be paying special emphasis to are going to be your absolute coordinates, your relative rectangle coordinates, your relative polar coordinates, and your direct distance entry techniques. I hope you found this video useful in the production of your two-dimensional drawings. Thanks a lot for viewing.